Measuring the speed of light with an oscilloscope is pretty easy to do if you have a really fast pulsating laser, but those can be very expensive. So what I used instead was a tattoo removing laser. It's called a neat cell and I mounted it. You can see it right here. It's this little this white gun there looking thing. I mounted it on a um, clamp with some uh, zip ties. And then I also have my diodes you can see there. They're in reverse bias mode. Those are from Thor Labs. They have a rise time of 10 nanoseconds, which was perfect for this project. And then I, from here on out, it's pretty much a basic setup. I send the beam through a beam splitter. And, you know, one beam travels to the near photodiode. And the other one has to go all the way down to the mirror on that table saw and come back. That's a total of 29 feet for that to happen. So what follows now, I'll just show you some details of what it looked like when we made these measurements. Thanks. The high speed pulse that this laser tattoo removal gun uh, created enabled me to work in the 20 nanosecond frame of this oscilloscope, which enabled me to measure the speed of light at a relative short round trip time of 29 feet. This one's a little sloppy. You can see I'm trying to find the start and ending point where both channels start to rise. So now I'm gonna position the yellow where the channel one starts to kick up. You can see right there's where the, the uh, channel starts to rise. And then now I'm gonna to try to find the blue where it goes up. It ends up being about 27 and a half nanoseconds. <laughs> 